Any luck today, G? No, she's... The, the, the ocean's... Ooh. Oh, wait! Speak of it! Speak of it! What have we got? What's that? Okay. Impaling for Fortune 2. But I have a pick here with Fortune 2 on it. Perfect. I brought you some Fortune luck, apparently. Three. Ooh, the sea is providing today. <laughs> um, speaking of providing, I was hoping you could help me provide some death this morning. Mm -hmm. I, uh, hold on. It's a bit precarious, because if I get caught right now, it's the game's up. I've, I have to kill Mumbo today. Okay, okay. I must. I've set a trap. And uh -huh. I was hoping you could help me. The thing is... You know. Say no more. Yeah. Say uh, more. Okay, Let's good. Go. Good. Excellent. Let's go. Hold on, let me put my fish away. <laughs> okay. Um, I think he might be hanging you, out with Iskol some... right now, so this is a good opportunity to get it all set up. Do you want some fish? Uh, yes, please. Oh, thanks. Are they cooked? They are. Excellent. Oh, yeah. That's food for days. Okay, so listen, here's the plan, right? Right, yeah. yeah. What's, the, what's the trap? What's the trap? I want you to convince him that you have found a spawner. Maybe even like a double spawner or something, and that he should make a redstone machine with it or something like this. For the good okay. of the community, obviously, you know, a yeah. skelly spawner. At the bottom of this thing, I will be waiting. And he's gone. And he's gone. Dang it. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> he's gone. All right, we well, can show me where it is safely now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I could I could breathe fresh air again. Okay, see that torch over there? Right in front of us. Here. Oh, this one. Yep. This. Okay is where Mumbo dies. I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing, because his base is over there. It might be suspicious if it's directly underneath it. Exactly. Him, you know? So, but if, but if it's over here... That's what I was thinking. So, there's the drop. I will be wading down at the bottom. As he falls uh -huh. down, I shall do this. Whoops. Like this. Does this work? It should work. Yeah. You take fall damage on scaffolding. Yep. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that Perfect. works. That yep. works. So as he's plummeting yeah, down, suddenly the scaffolding shall appear and he shall splat. It's 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 a little more elegant than the old uh, place of block. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a bit of flair to it. Is it deep enough? Ooh. I should, I should think so. I don't think Mumbo is enchanted. It's at least 50 blocks down, so that should be enough, right? Is there a way back up? Um. No. Okay, you're just going to leave me down there. <laughs> <laughs> we can figure that out afterward, okay. I suppose. Okay, that's, that's, it's genius in its simplicity. Ex excellent. Um, like okay, it. awesome. Okay, so if I just pop that torch there. When he gets back on, uh, I guess you go straight down, and I'll I'll just go straight for it, okay? Perfect, perfect. I'll hang out on top of the mountain, and... He'll see you go, right? I guess. Well, do, okay, you just keep him away from this area if possible f for a bit. Um, oh, Ren. Is, Ren, oh, Ren, Ren, mm. Ren, Ren. No, you need a secret entrance into into the, the, the abyss okay. down there. Okay, I tell you what. I'm just going to go and wait. You can't be wait. up there if I need you down there. I'm going to wait down there the whole day. You send me a message really? on Discord when he logs in. Yeah. All right. Tell you what, I might just, I might even just message him saying, found a skelly spawner. That also works. <laughs> right in here. <laughs> oh, you biffed it, Ren! You biffed it, Ren! <laughs> <laughs> no! Wait, you guys are in cahoots? <laughs> Ren, you get nothing more for me. I, there's nothing more I can do. You had one job, buddy. Oh my god, I cannot <laughs> believe I missed it. Up? I I'm cannot only, believe I'm, it. I'm, I'm annoyed at you even though I've survived. <laughs> Is this like a secondary trap? Like, was this a no. now I'm going to fall through into lava? I, I was just no. trying to get you with the sign over here, Bubbo. That's all I wanted for today. That, that's all I wanted. <laughs> well, it is what, for what service, Ren? What service do you provide? Like, okay, I, I feel <laughs> bad nothing. because I, a lot of people mentioned in my first episode, I did nothing but blast you. But you can't. 
You can't not be blast for such a terrible performance. Like this. I don't even know what's going on. I uh, he just said I want to uh, kill Bumbo. I said say no more. I wow, wow Green. Wow. <laughs> So there's me. I logged in. I was like, I am going to build a skeleton spawner today. I cannot wait. This is going to be sorry. a great start. You know, I'm I need sorry. bones. I was really excited. And 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 you acted so oh, confused no, when I said, not... oh, if your name was Red. You're no, like, not the game. oh, that never even crossed my mind. How so did I miss this? You forgot your own game. It was a split then, second. Look, we wouldn't be having this guilt trip if Ren had succeeded, so I'm blaming him. Oh my god, I, yeah. I, Do we now have the, to mine our way The real trap out. here is that you didn't make a way out. I, that is you true. Really I, I am sorry about that. Um, You're kidding. We've got to dig our way joking. out. Yeah, we got to, we got to dig up. This is up. so awkward. This... <laughs> Do we all have to this dig up? This is the worst thing. Ren, you should stay down there. <laughs> don't worry. I'll, I'll... Think about what you've done. I'll place the torches <laughs> for you guys. Don't worry. I'll, I'll help you out. The worst thing is, Mumbo, I saw him. He had such a long time. He had such I know. a long time. Did I, I know? It felt like I had down. half a second. No, I took forever because, because I was shocked by the fact that Grian went down so fast. Like, I was I was shocked by it because I, I wasn't expecting him to just plummet into a hole. So then I at least was up there for like two or three seconds before dropping down. And he placed he placed one scaffolding, but not the second. So it was just... Why did you not no, place the scaffolding? I did place it. I placed the, the, the scaffolding, but I think it placed as you entered that block. So it just broke and... Wow. You didn't actually splat. It was... Oh, I, I am so disappointed in myself. I don't <laughs> I don't want to reaper anymore. Can I just unreaper myself? I'm so bad at this. Uh, <laughs> no. This is the third kill attempt I failed. <laughs> and you had help. You had and help. I, had I was help such too. I like how often is it that you get someone who is willing to just plummet into a hole sight unseen? Yeah. Ren, you had you, all, you you didn't even need to do the scaffolding. You could have just placed the block where the water was. He, he he really wanted to do the scaffolding. It was it was really important to him. I needed to do Why? it for flair, Mumbo. It was for flair. Yeah, <laughs> that is pretty. Yeah, that is pretty flary. But be fair. in retrospect, probably a terrible idea. Oh, I <laughs> yeah. I can't believe I messed this up again. You yeah you 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 really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. We're in the big cave. Gosh, well this seems like a great. Opportunity for Ren to no, Ren, <laughs> Ren, you're not, you're, you don't even have the name. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a little scamp. That's all. I know, I know. I feel this is dang this is dangerous territory for me to be in right now. It's okay. No, nothing <laughs> bad can happen. Everything's fine. No, nothing bad can happen. Anything, any, anything can happen. Green, if they, Green. What? You stop there's that no now. There there's nothing behind this stalactite. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this is. I, I'm gonna die under pressure. Why am I going down? I feel like. <laughs> I messed it up again. <laughs> How did you. I was on a one by one pillar, Ren. I can't <laughs> believe this. How did you end up down there and me end up up here? Oh this, gosh. This has all gone horribly wrong. Retiring from the pranking arts is a, is is acceptable. Yeah, I think I'm going to retire. I think that's it. My <laughs> Reaper days are done. I, I did my best. <laughs> <laughs> are you just going to accept? Are you just going to accept that this is your life for the whole season? I think so. I'm just going to go live in my tower like like Ren you Punzel. You can get him. We could get him. He's stupid. We could get him. <laughs> what do you mean we? <laughs> Grin, you're not meant to be on his side. You're dead. I can, I can, if How much has he help, paid you? Oh, Ren. <laughs> he's just digging into the side of the cave I'm, and he's just going to live there. I'm just going to live in this in this stalactite. This yeah, is Yeah, look, now Mumbo's never going to trust me again. No, I I've, yeah, that... I've ruined I've ruined your trust with Mumbo. I failed as a reaper. This is just a terrible day all round. It has gone badly for you, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone terribly. Oh. Hey, Mum at least Mumbo might win now. That's true. I mean, that would be quite remarkable. How many people are, are left alive? Not many, dude. Not many. There's like maybe seven people left. That isn't that many. Ren, I can see you. You're looking for opportunities. <laughs> any, like, you're so twitchy. I've never seen you be so twitchy. You're like, you're like this. <laughs> like, I've, I've had too much coffee do? this morning. That's all, Mumbo. <laughs> evidently, evidently, evidently. Right. Do you need How an do escort out? out? <laughs> 
I'm gonna hurriedly pill around. Damn it, I don't have enough blocks to chase you. Ah! <laughs> Faster! No! I didn't bring enough blocks! No, oh, no. Bumbo! Oh, I've actually mismeasured! <laughs> yes! Oh, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> No. Have you not got any anything? I got, I've got, I got a stack of fish you gave me earlier. Oh my goodness. I've been woefully unprepared for this killing frenzy this morning. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I have to dig Green's pillar to make my own pillar. This is just outrageous. Bubbo, oh there you are. Ow! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're out. All right. We're out. I all succeeded. Right. I lived. Nice. I lived. All right. That, well, was a, that was a feeble attempt at all round. That was. It, well, well, I would say it was poorly executed. It wasn't a bad attempt. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. It, it was the oldest attempt. trick in the book. And it really was. I can't believe I fell for it. I'm actually concerned for myself that <laughs> I fell for it. Yeah. I mean, I've yeah. I've had a mild amount of fun, so that was good. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, well, good. I'm gonna go back home now and cry. <laughs> Ren, if you could please, right, at some point, do something that doesn't involve me having to shout at your incompetence, that would be <laughs> ideal. Because, because, because my viewers are starting to think that it's personal, when really it's not. It really isn't. No, it really isn't. <laughs> All right. Have a good day, guys. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. It's been quite the morning of shenanigans and derps, my friends. I've just got back from the north after trying to demise Mumbo and failing quite horribly. Had a lot of fun, though, hanging out with Green and Mumbo. It was so close, I almost got him. Oh, goodness. You know what? I reviewed the footage just to make sure that it wasn't me being an absolute noob. And actually, there is some evidence that I didn't exactly 100% messed up. I messed up like 80% of the time. So yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better about myself now and ready to get on with this episode. My plan today was to build an extension to the Rendog Tower, or as it is formerly known, the tower -er of the dog. Escal doesn't like the name, but too bad, it's gonna stick. But you know what, I've changed my mind. I have a better idea. While I went out to the north to try and hunt Mumbo down, I realized that there's actually very little indication of how to get there. It's basically just out of render distance right now, and I thought maybe we could start a small community project today just to make my brain feel a little bit better after my failed um, uninstalling of Mumbo. Why don't we start working on a road that connects the north to the south, right? And looking from up here, there seems to be a really cool pathway through these valleys. We could build a really cool looking country road that links the north and the south and another road that will fork off over here, connect up to Spawn and connect up to Azuma. And eventually uh, we can start building some roads on this side, connecting up all of the, the uh, different bases of the neighborhood. And that could be pretty sweet. So I think that's what we're going to do today. There's a uh, stress chilling. <laughs> She's hanging out. And uh, also, by the way, what's this? Um... <laughs> It's Iskal's monstrosity created by hermits. It's a thing of glory, to be honest, although a very large eyesore. And Stress has just noticed something dangerous. I see them! I will not go anywhere near. They are the worst. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, though, Stress. Look at this, the neighborhood looking after each other. You'll love to see it. Anyway, so Community Road. That's the plan for today, friends. However... Uh, I did want to show you some cool stuff that has been happening off camera over the last few days. I went and did a whole bunch of mining, hanging out with the hermits online, and managed to pick up 49 diamonds, a bunch of other sweet loot, but the diamonds is what I'm most interested in. And I'm thinking, let's kick things off today, heading over to the enchanting area that Kerala showed us, and start making ourselves some gear. I've been churning through iron pickaxes and shovels. And I would like to get a decent pickaxe today. The pickaxe Jevin gave us is basically broken. And uh, yeah, spent a couple of hours last night at the Skelly Spawner, just grinding the Skellingtons and getting the levels that I needed. We're up to 50 levels. That should give us a good bash at a number of good tools. I'm thinking diamond tools today. Let's get some pickaxes, a shovel or something. Maybe a shovel to make the road would be quite helpful. And if we've got anything left over, maybe we can start working on some gear. 
Uh, but yeah, the mumbo kill, guys. What went wrong? Well, take a look at this. I've got some replay footage to review with you all. And uh, I think what happened was, as mumbo was about to jump into the hole, he shifted, and so that removed his name tag. And because of that... I couldn't tell when he jumped into the hole, and I think he was holding the shift key. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't know, Mumbo holds the shift key with his thumb. Yeah, that's right. If you're at your computer right now and you, you know, pretend you're playing Minecraft and try and press the shift key with your thumb. Yeah, that's how Mumbo shifts. So I'm guessing <laughs> that Mumbo did not take his finger off the shift key um, as he jumped into the hole, and thus I lost track of his descent. And just at the very last moment, I was literally a split second too late. You rarely hate to see it, but uh, it was a very decent and noble attempt. And yeah, a, a big thanks to Grian for uh, helping me out on that one. That was a lot of fun. Uh, but yes, look, I'll take 80% of the blame for that fail, okay? 80% to me, 20% to Mumbo holding the shift key with his thumb. Absolutely outrageous. Anyway, we're at the enchanting facility, friends. Let us do some enchanting to kick things off today. And uh, yeah, hopefully there's a little bit more lapis here. There is some community lapis. Most excellent. So I'm thinking, I don't know, a couple of pickaxes, a shovel, maybe some bootsies for feather falling. And uh, let's see what we can yoink out of this thing. Oh, an axe also for some tree choppage. That would be good too. All right, this feels like a pretty good start. Two pickaxes, a shovel, an axe, some boots, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we are obviously professionals, as uh, I think we might be the last hermit on the server to get diamond gear, or at least one of the last anyway, dang it. Uh, but yes, let's get started. I would love a silk touch pickaxe to start with, because that would be a great way to get the genesis block at 000, and this is going to be an unbreaking... Also enchanting, we are doing things today. Efficiency 3, unbreaking 3, not terrible. Not what we wanted, though. Let's try one more time. We get another unbreaking three diamond pickaxe, which is going to be great. And that's just going to be unbreaking. Down to 44 levels already. We could do some disenchanting here, but that's okay. I'd like to do the others also. Let's do the shovel now. Efficiency four. I'd prefer unbreaking if we're going to make paths and stuff here. Efficiency four, unbreaking three. Perfectionos. And now for the axe. Silk touch. Wait a minute. Can a silk touch axe break blocks efficiency four and breaking three wait can this break deep slates i it's unclear i need a bit of deep slate i need to test this we might be able to yoink the genesis block with this i, I might have to do a little bit of testing somewhere uh, on this one but nice that is a very decent axe now can we get some feather falling on the boot seats it's unbreaking three would love to get a bit of luck today after my bad luck this morning uh, it steps right to three protection four that's actually pretty sweet. I will take it. I'm happy with that. Maybe we disenchant this one. See if we can get Silk Touch on the pickaxe. We've got pretty much one more level 30 enchant here. And it is Silk Touch on the pickaxe. Oh, you love to see it, friends. Look at this. Efficiency for Silk Touch unbreaking. Amazing. That will do quite nicely. Oh, we actually have one more enchant to go here, hey? Interesting. Interesting. I'm thinking... We've got the sword, which is pretty good. Although, that's a pretty bad sword. Why don't we disenchant the sword and uh, redo this one. See what we can get. Unbreaking 3 and just Unbreaking 3. It's actually arguably worse than the previous version. Oh, jeez. The luck not with us today. But I am very pleased uh, with this gear. Very nice. We can slip on these here diamond bootsies. If you're wondering why we're not making any other armor, it's because I'm a professional. Okay? I don't need armor to survive. Things? I mean, I've learned how to MLG jump. I mean, you don't believe me? Take a look at this. Hello? 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 Hello. Hello. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hi. Hi. Power dog. How's it going, everyone? It's great. How are you? It's good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Get down here. Lovely view from up here. Ren, I need a favor. Yeah. Cleo, I need a favor from you too. Okay, listen up. Hold okay. Uh, okay. Can you okay. come down? It's, it oh. hurts my neck to look up like this. Okay, hold on. I've, I've been practicing my MLG water bucketing. Here we go. Oh, Here, we go. Okay, Here we go. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Nailed nice. it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And, okay. and, and yeah, farming potatoes at the same time. Oh, I destroyed my cropage. <laughs> uh. Yeah. 
Okay, wait, wait, one second. I, I just need to, to replant everything. One second. Okay. Hi. Okay, perfect. What's, what's happening? Hello. Hi. I, okay. wait, I can't I, believe I, I actually did that, by the way. Can we just take a moment? It was, it, I, it was, was very good. You did really well. So nice. Thank you. I'm still alive, so there's a bit of stake in me doing that. Yeah. Yeah, you are still alive. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You are still alive. And, and we're not alive anymore. We're not alive, no. You're not allowed yeah. to PvP me. No, we're not. But that um, doesn't mean we can't do... <clears throat> other things. Can I kill him yeah. with a potato? Is this possible? No, I, I, don't I think that's too much have PvPing. Even if I beat you to death with a potato? I mean, surely that I counts. Think so, yeah. Okay. Right, so what well, we need to do is we need to dig yeah. some pits under where he's living. Yep, yep. You know, and then explosives. Some traps. I mean, you know, we can do this. We can do this. Puff of fish. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah puff, puff of fish is a bit mean. I mean, he did win the last one, and he I did. did say yeah. that that means he's got the biggest target on his head. So Tell yep. you what. Tell you what. Okay, what I will do is mm -hmm. I will jump off the, off the roof and try an MLG. And if I succeed, yeah, we have yeah. a pact that you two do not trap me. But if I fail, well, then I'll probably die from the fall. I mean, you are the closest alive person that I know of. Yeah, this but is, I'm going to really This is cool a wonderful idea. I mean, I've been thinking to myself, why the heck did I build this thing? Now it's all yeah. starting to make sense. Can we, we go we sit down this. and discuss this, please? I've got, I've, you know, there's seats oh, and everything okay. over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I recognize these seats, Rem. Yeah. <laughs> I you recognize these seconds. seats. Okay. Welcome to the Bri, everybody. Wait, where's Cleo going? <laughs> Where is she going? <laughs> She's just speeding off, dude. What the heck? Is she worried Did... that her horse is going to run away or something? I don't know. Well, listen, take a seat, dude. Let's have a Bri. We're chilling. <clears throat> Thank you. A Bri is a barbecue in South Africa. It is, yes. Dude, your voice is sounding so much better. Hmm. Uh, thank you. I feel after these past two hours, though, of yeah. laughing, it's getting worse again. Oh, 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 hello. What? Hi. Hi. Do, do I there not get is. a chair? Take that, a seat. That... You, you, you get the seat. I'll oh, sit okay. on the blade. I'll sit on the blade. It's fine. <laughs> that's perfect. <Yeah. laughs> oh, that doesn't that's, look good. <laughs> that's not good, man. Yeah. That's, that's, don't, uh, do that. ooh. don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, ooh. don't crouch on me. It tickles. That's... It tickles. Goodness sake. Goodness yeah, right. sake. Anyway, okay. can you not afford another wooden stair? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> I uh, have, yeah. I, you know. I have a, I, I have a deal. Here. Okay. Okay. Yep. Deal. I will take this leap of faith. Sure. Right. Which will surely kill me if I don't land the MLG. Yep. And mm -hmm. shall I say I'm the furthest away from the server? It's actually d difficult to MLG with my ping. And mm -hmm. uh, if I, he's hit, always always complaining about his ping. It is always an it's excuse. It's always the ping. Well, yeah. if I live, if I live, Ren, uh, you are not allowed to trap or kill me. Okay, so here's my other suggestion. <laughs> I'm yep. going to take the jump of faith from the Ren Diggity Dog Tower. Yeah, it's uh, if I don't it's, die, it's called the Tower of the Dog, please, sir. Okay, it has RD on it, Ren. D on it, yeah. Yeah, the Tower or, or R of the dog. Uh oh. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard, Ren. I'm not going to call it the Tower of the Dog. That's the stupidest thing. I'm going to call it the Red Diggity Dog Tower. Fine. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, this is so scary. Can this I jump is, wherever I want? This is the silliest thing you've ever done. No, you scary. know what? This You're going to jump onto the Bri. I'm going to jump onto the Bri? Onto the no, bar? no, no. That's not fair. I don't want to jump onto the Bri. There are path blocks there, Red. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I see what you're doing. <laughs> Dang it. He saw through me. <laughs> also, I don't know if I want you guys to be standing there and interfering with this, but I suppose oh, that's we're not going to interfere. We're we just won't watching. interfere. It's you were fine. We're just talking about a lava bucket, Cleo. Yeah, which neither of us have admitted we've got. I I've got. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> you actually missed the water. <laughs> I missed the water, but I lived. Okay, I fell by mistake. That was the scariest <laughs> thing ever. I was just jumping around looking where to jump down. I just fell. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> You fell? I fell! <laughs> but I lived. I did live. I thought I was dead. Yeah, what a, what a waste of time. It's not high enough. Yeah, yeah, Ren. Why is the tower not high enough? I Bro. Mean, you don't have to murder anybody, Ren. Come on. I'm doing my best. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day in real life, and we're starting things off bright and early on the server this morning. 
I've got some great news too. Starting with the latest member of our season 10 family, the righteous of most righteous steeds. It is our donkey that we uh, tamed last night on the, the live stream. And he's so darn cute and so awesome that he is going to be our righteous steed for the uh, start of this season. And I think I've got a pretty decent name for him too, considering what happened over at the Mumbo area where we very... Good morning, everybody. It's the next day in real life, and we're kicking things off bright and early on the server this morning with a couple of bits of good news. Firstly, please be introduced to the latest member of our Season 10 family, our new righteous steed donkey that we discovered on livestream last night. He is a, a wonderful specimen of a donkey, I must say. Look at him. Oh, what a glorious, glorious animal. Unfortunately, probably slower than run speed. But um, you know what? I, I love him so darn much, we're going to keep him. I mean, look at him. He, he's, he's wonderful. He's so freaking cute. Also, I think I figured out the perfect name for this donkey. He's going to be called You Hate to See It. Because honestly, the shenanigans that happened over at Mumbo uh, area was kind of painful. I... I'm still reeling slightly that I was unable to get Mumbo uh, yesterday. <laughs> oh man, it was so freaking close. Anyway, I've had a chance to sleep on it and I had such a great time trying to trap Mumbo anyway that it is, it's all good. It was an awesome time over there in the north. Speaking of the north and speaking of good news, look at this. Managed to figure out a beautiful road design on livestream last night too. And this is going to be the block palette for our great road. The King's Road, if you will, that is going to be connecting the north to the south. And the whole philosophy of this road is that we want to unite the entire server by giving everybody a very clear path of how to visit each other from the northern districts all the way to the southern districts. And um, I wanted to get a really nice country road design going. This design is actually inspired by Pearl's base over in the north. We saw it on stream last night and she's done something similar just outside of her base. And I thought it was such a beautiful block palette. Uh, you know, Pearl is such an artist in this game. It's difficult to design anything uh, more beautiful than what Pearl, Pearl can come up with. So I decided to borrow uh, her block palette for this and it, it's perfect it is absolutely awesome it looks like a, a really peaceful meandering country road which is exactly the style that i wanted to go you know i didn't want to go like a, a paved tarmac road or anything like that we're using these wonderful mud blocks as the primary tile and it looks like a sort of cobbled country road you know that's been uh, pressed down by you know, tens of years of uh, donkey travel, I suppose. And we're lining the road with the beautiful blossoms and a whole bunch of foliage, a few different flowers here and there, and uh, throwing in a few accent blocks like the coarse dirt and the, the granite and the rooted dirt and whatnot. And it's a very simple block palette, but I think it works really nicely together, complemented finally by these very simple um, lantern things that we are using the new tuft block variants for. And you know, the tuft block's got a bit of green in it and I think it, it, it really pops in this kind of design. And you know, as the, the moon rises around here and the zombies come in, uh, ruining the peace of the great road, we can really see the beauty of it though. I think it looks absolutely awesome. So yeah, I'm going to be over the next couple of weeks building this road all the way to the north, probably on live stream. So if you wanna come and check out all these things that we do on the live stream, Please do come check us out on Rendog TV on Twitch. I'll throw the URL up on the screen and uh, I'll stick it there for you guys in the description too. We stream a couple times a week, sometimes even more than that, and we have a great, uh, great time on there. So yeah, do come and join us on Twitch for streams if that's your thing. Now the block palette for the King's Road is not the only thing that I've got to show you here, guys. Oh, no, no, no. There is so much more to this project that I have completed. And I think the best way to show it off is for us to go on a full immersion tour of the King's Road that has now successfully connected the south to the north. Unfortunately, most of the road at the moment is just path blocks because, well, I've only just uh, managed to sort the block palette out last night, haven't had much time to work on the road. But over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be turning this entire road into this style, and it's just going to look so magnificent. Uh, but there is so much more to making a road in Minecraft than just making some path blocks and, you know, going from point A to point B. Uh, for me, making a road is a really important thing, in fact, on a server like this, because a road is a way 
that we can showcase all of the amazing things on the server just by traveling back and forth across it. And so when I laid down the direction for this road, I tried to keep in mind that I wanted to show off every single person's uh, builds as much as possible as we went across this. As we're traveling along the King's Road, I want you to be spoiled with the view. I want there to be, uh, you know, an embarrassment of riches, so to speak, for your eyeballs. And so I will explain to you exactly what my thinking was um, when I was trying to map this road out. So we'll start over here in the southern connection. And of course, if we're traveling from the north and coming into this connection, the first thing that we will see is this beautiful valley where the neighborhood is uh, currently starting to brew. You know, all, the, all of my neighbors around here and I, we're all living in this, in this valley surrounded by this massive cliffside face, which is really, really cool. And of course, to this side is Spawn and a whole bunch of other hermits. And I really wanted to make sure that the road showed that off too. And that is why instead of forking this way, we took the road up onto this mount because from up here, and uh, from this position of the road, as we're traveling from the north, on the left of our peripheral, we will start to see Azumavoid, Hypno, Wells, Spawn, and even Corallus over there. And so this is a great way, for, if you're traveling from the north, to see the left-hand side of this section of the server, as well as in front of you, coming in to the southern neighborhood. Now, if we're traveling from the south to the north, as we're coming along this section of the road, we can already see two awesome builds in our eyesight. There is Tango and Pearl in our left peripheral, and we've got Jevon and a bit of a zoom in our right peripheral. And uh, that is a really, really cool thing for me, I think. Uh, now, here's a very important thing about this road. Every now and then, the road is going to take us into a dip where things are going to disappear. We're not going to see much. We're not going to be able to see any builds in these dips. But this is 100% intentional. You see, I kind of want to reset your brain as you're traveling on the, along the road. I don't want you to just see amazing things one after the other because eventually you get desensitized to them. So every now and then we're going to reset the vision, make the road feel like, okay, there's nothing going on here. It's kind of boring. But as we come up, to the very top of this next hill section, we can start to see not only Jevon's amazing build in the right peripheral, but the entire mountain of the Cherry Blossom neighborhood. And of course, Joel's magnificent build right there on top of the mountain looming into the sky. And uh, this is a really great spot on the road where you, you get a taste for what's coming over here. Because, of course, eventually we will see Impulse's builds, which is going to be going over here. And I think Skiz might have some stuff happening on this side of the mountain. And, I mean, who knows what's going to happen over here, right? It's going to be a great view as you come up here from the south. Uh, we can fork here to go to Jevon's house if we want to go to Jev's. But if we want to travel to the Cherry Blossom neighborhood, we take the left and... We already get a, a more clear view of Tango's and Pearl's uh, sections over there as we come here. But we need to reset the vision again. So back down into a dip. Everything's looking a little bit boring, a little bit plain. And we'll continue the road now. Uh, very much anticipating, you know, the, the possibility of seeing new stuff as we travel. And as we continue further north the Cherry Blossom neighborhood comes into full view. And as we get to this position here, which is the border of this area, I see there's like a massive border here. I think this might be Impulse's plot lines. Uh, I didn't want to take the road further than here. Maybe someone from this, from the north would want to work with me on these roads. I know that Jem mentioned she might want to do some road work. So perhaps uh, the Cherry Blossom roads could, could, could connect up to this position. But yes, as we're traveling here further north to get to this section, we can see all of this neighborhood in full view and uh, really great. Also, this is the view from the north. So if the north is traveling to the south, let's take that trip back toward uh, the southern neighborhood. And uh, as we're coming around here, of course, we see Jevons build in the left peripheral. We will see, uh, I guess that's like Iskel's area there. If Iskel's going to be building stuff on top of that mountain, we'll see Iskel. We'll see the rain dog stuff over there to the right peripheral. And uh, we will even start to see spawn uh, as we come along the dip here, which is really sweet. And the further south we go, if we're traveling from the north, we come up uh, back up uh, over here and we will start to see all the things happening from this vantage point, which is pretty, pretty awesome. But there is one more fork in the road, of course, you might have noticed it. And that is after this second blind spot here. We can choose to either go north to the Cherry Blossom District or take a left and head back into another dip. We're going to head back down here, but this gives us a really great front on view of Rendog and Iskull and probably Cleo also, actually. Yep, there's Cleo's stuff, I think, looks like it. So we get a really decent little 
taste of that as we're traveling along this fork. And this fork is, of course, designed to connect up to the Tango and Pearl area uh, of the server. And I do believe ZF might live all the way out there behind this too. So this road will eventually connect up to uh, to, Z, to the ZF area also. And uh, yeah, as you can see as the sun sets, what a beautiful road this will be, right? And I took the road all the way out to here. Didn't want to go any further in case uh, I start to tread on any toes. You never know what people are planning to build out here. But this is Pearl's area and actually a good opportunity for me to show you the inspiration for the road palette because it did come from this. And as you can see, yes, we are borrowing from Pearl, right? I mean, look, there's no ways in, in all heck that I could ever make anything as beautiful as Pearl does. And, you know, this is so pretty that I just I, I had to borrow from this. So a big thank you to Pearl for helping me decide on what the King's Road block palette is going to be. I certainly can't, can't claim the design for myself. It is 100% a pearlescent moon uh, design of awesomeness, and it is just absolutely perfect. Um, so yeah, that is the foundations of the King's Road. The great connection between the South and the North, uniting the hermits via a beautiful country meandering road. And I know that a bunch of us um, are going to make great use of the road. I mean, until I made this road, I actually had no idea where I was going when I came north. And now the road just makes it really clear how to get from the north to the south. And I hope this will help out a bunch of hermits that have been running around like headless chickens trying to find other stuff on the server. It's now pretty obvious, I guess. And we'll, we'll add some road signs and stuff here and there, right, to, uh, to help with the directions a little bit further but um yeah that is the road guys i'm so glad that we started working on this project today and uh we didn't do anything else or should i say this week and uh yeah th there's not much more that i'd like to do on this for this episode but certainly over the next coming episodes guys we'll be working really hard on all of this and uh, getting this road looking looking absolutely magnificent as we travel we will add points of interest and cool little fountains and i don't know all sorts of things that can be added to make the road an absolutely immaculate experience for those who are not getting elytra uh, for a while i won't be getting an elytra for a while by the way which is why i kind of got excited about this road project Let's get some full immersion going, right? Let's really enjoy this early game of Minecraft, this time when we're close to the ground, immersing ourselves in our brand new Season 10 server. It's gonna be magnificent. But anyway, friends, I think that's gonna do it for today. It's been quite the week, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you are new from somewhere else on the Interbubs, maybe from another Hermit's channel, please do be welcome to the Rendog channel from me and you hate to see it. We are very glad to have you, and we'll smell you all in the next episode. <laughs>